Hello and welcome. On today's episode, we will be discussing the pill dispenser. This is going to be a very short episode because not a lot has changed. You'll notice the main difference is that we no longer have this front bulge here, which was very nice to cup, but uh, annoying in practice, as all bulges are. The main idea behind this was that the vibration sensor would sit here and the pills would drop here and like it, like directly impact where it was. But what would happen is uh, they would lose momentum when hitting here and just kind of stop around here, which was very irritating and you had to like tip the whole thing forwards. So after that, I just remodeled it and did this. You'll notice that the footprint is a bit smaller, which is great because look at that chungus. This is also a lot of material just supports alone for this. This was a lot of material. The only thing that's changed is the base. Every, all the expansions and all the containers are the same. The vibration sensor now sits at the bottom and the pills, instead of having to go through a whoop, now go directly into the cap, which is actually proving to be a huge improvement because all the kinetic force the pill has when it's dropping down is, in, is put directly into the little cap, which is sitting right above the vibration sensor. So it triggers it pretty much every time. There have been a few issues, but um, what I ended up doing is I ended up putting all the lighter pills at the top. So if you have very light pills, I recommend putting them at the top because that would give them more kinetic force. Now on the electronic side of things, it is still a mess. I'm still using the Pico to control all the servos like I did last time. And I'm still using the D1 Mini to get a trigger off of Home Assistant to dispense pills. Why am I doing that? because I'm lazy. Could I have done it with a button? Yes. Will I remember to press the button? Probably not. That's why it's on a timer with Home Assistant. So if I go over to my Home Assistant tab and press. So perfect set of pills. Another annoying problem I had to fight with was the fact that the servos would sometimes activate the pill dispenser, even though there was no pill. I tried a couple different ways of getting rid of that vibration. Like I tried putting some sponge between the, the servos and the containers and the, between the containers and the, and the actual main bit. None of that worked. So what I ended up doing is adding another step to the servo. What it will do now is it'll go all the way down to the bottom to get the pill. It'll stop about 80% of the way there. Then it'll go to 90 and then 100. Those last two steps really prevented the sensor from triggering accidentally. I have gotten comments about making this like fully airtight so they can put like medication that can't be in, in, in air for too long or in or in UV environments. Uh, the only problem I have with that is I really don't recommend this for critical medication. <laughs> like if it's something you have to take 100% of the time, every time, don't use this. <laughs> I use this primarily for like my vitamins and like my omega threes, stuff like that. I, it's fine because like you can, you can skip a, you can skip a dose and be fine. For anything actually critical or life dependent, don't use this please. I don't want to be responsible for that. For anything else, this is great. It reminds me to take my pills every morning. Did I take my pills this morning? Yes, yes I did. Every time after testing I have to put these bloody pills back. So if you want to print yourself one of these guys, all you have to do is head over to Printables, which is now owned by Prusa and it's fantastic. They give me points when you download stuff, which then it, I can get like a hat or a spool of filament, which is what I actually want. I have also migrated pretty much all of the models I've made to Printables. I'm really trying to move away from Fingerverse. It is garbage. <laughs> Just so garbage. Uh, the code is available on GitHub. Uh, I pushed an update this morning because I realized I did an oopsie, but I fixed an oopsie. By the way, I'm only including the code for the Raspberry Pi Pico. I'm not actually including the ESP Home code that I'm using because if you want to use a button, use a button. If you want to use a D1 Mini, figure it out. 
This is version seven of the pill dispenser. Um, have fun and enjoy. I will now do my signature move of moving down slightly slower than before because last time I did that, my knees hurt a lot. Thank you for watching, goodbye. Hello and welcome to another episode of I Started Recording Without Telling My Significant Other. <laughs> I tried a couple ways of... I tried a couple ways of... I tried a couple... Words are difficult to say. Ugh, doing it slowly still hurts.